this weekend to show some of the um, Tellington tea touches that you can do with your horses to improve your relationship, your performance, the trust you have, and the health of your horse. And I'm going to just show you one of the basic principles of the Tellington Tea Touch is the idea that you put your hands on your horse in a way that the horse wants your hands there. I say put your heart in your hands and your hands on your horse and you will have a totally different relationship. So I just start by bringing the head down a little bit and doing these little quiet circle and a quarter all over his face. And we work on certain parts. And one of those places is around the mouth and the nostrils. Can you bring your head down a little bit? That's it. And the reason that we work these nostrils is it improves the flexibility of your horse, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Because around the nostril area and the mouth, we actually influence the limbic system, the part of the brain that controls the emotions, and it's the center for learning. So when you get your horse so they really enjoy this mm, lovely contact down the mouth, and the chin, and the lips, you will find if you do this before you ride, just a moment or so, that the horse is interested, cooperative, wants to be with you. And it's a little funny thing, easy. He said, he's never had this before. And he said, no, a little too much. Let's see if I can touch your gum. Easy, easy. Good boy. So if he doesn't like it at first, I say, wait a minute. I'll do a little part that I can kind of slip in there. Now yeah. yeah, I've got the chin. To ease it. You see that little quivering around the muzzle? I want to really relax that. Yeah, so I use different parts of my hands, whatever is comfortable and fits. And they all have special names, but right now we don't care about that. That's it. That's it. I'm going to give him a little break. It's called a mindful pause. So you can think about this a moment. Huh? That's it. Now can I just slip in there? Just a little on your chin. This is something to do before you get on your horse. But just literally moments. And you'll find that they'll actually be listening to you in a different way. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny. Uh, that's a funny feeling on the gums. It's a great way to prepare a young horse before they ever get in a bit in their mouth. That's it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I'm going to get just under there. I know it's a funny feeling at first. <clears throat> yeah. That's nice. Now, this is the first time he's ever had this. But you'll find after the second and third time that they say, Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Hmm? Now we'll give him a little break. Let him feel it. And I really have him free like this rather than tied so that he can bend his neck and Turn his head a little bit and he can stay very still. That's nice. Good boy. And by getting him to listen to just small contacts on his body before we ever get on the horse, the horse is prepared to actually to listen to you when you're in the saddle. Yeah, try your lips now. Yeah, feel different. Yeah. Nice. Mmm. 